Okay, guys and gals, this is really cool. I don't know if you can see right there. Um, it's a little frog. And uh, so it's a little frog, big deal. Look, there's bunches of them. See them there? See them there? See them there? Now, best I can tell, these little guys, if I can maybe get him in my hand, are what we call spring peepers. And I wondered what had gotten up in these tanks. These tanks, I'll show you in a second, they're actually pretty high from the ground. And I wonder, there's where he is. I feel safer on the Azola. Oh, there he goes. Um, there, and you can see that's about, I think those are about 14 inches at the bottom and they're like 20, so those are like 34, 36 inches right here. And I wondered where all the tadpoles in these things had come from. And there's, I don't know if you can see down there, there's bukus of tadpoles and minnows in there. A lot less tadpoles, because I guess they're hatching. Um, and they're in all three tanks and they're in the main tank. And I did find a green tree frog. I relocated him to the aviary that was sitting here croaking one night. So I'm sure some of them are those, but it looks like the majority are these little guys. So you might wonder how would they get in here? Well, these tanks are fiberglass and there's a lot of traction here for a little frog that can climb. And they probably went in and the bigger ones I bet didn't have much problem getting back out. The bigger ones probably get enough surface tension off of here to hop out babies are kind of stranded aren't they so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put like a branch in each tank kind of like this so that these guys as they hatch can climb out and uh, go on and uh, live wherever they want to live instead of being captive in this little tank here i probably also since they're so bad gone easy to catch and i've I've never been able to really catch these guys much because they, uh, they're elusive little critters and they're fast and they're slippery. Um, you always see them smashed on the road in the spring when the rains come uh, in the hundreds. But since they're so easy to collect out of these tanks, I'm probably gonna collect a few dozen of them at least, put them in the aviary pond, and they'll be able to get in and out of there at will. Now they're so little, they can get through the mesh on the aviary, but I'm hoping it's a attractive enough climate for them that maybe they'll stick around. Anyway, I just thought you guys would want to see that. And they are popping up. There's one right there in all the tanks now. And it's really cool. You can see him right there. He's not even that afraid of me. He doesn't know to be afraid yet. He ain't learned. Um, lots of things these little frogs got. You should be afraid. And uh, there's another one there. And so they're popping up. And they're just able to, to walk on this Azola mat like it's earth. There's another one there. There he goes. And you can see what they're doing. They're looking for a way out. But they're not finding it. So we will uh, provide them one. Take care, guys. I think that was pretty cool, and I want to share it with you.